Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I have another story to share with you today involving aliens and UFOs. I can't keep up with all of them. It's almost every day now there's some sort of report coming out involving alien abductions or UFO sightings. But this one I want to share with you folks, this is pretty wild. And it's continuing to show where things are moving, how the world is being conditioned to believe the lie that is coming after the rapture of the church. After millions upon millions of born-again believers in Jesus Christ suddenly vanish at the rapture, the world leaders and governments are going to come forth and they're going to have an excuse. They're going to have a lie that the world, for the most part, is going to believe and it's going to involve something involving aliens or UFOs or something along those lines. Here it is. Let's jump right into it. There's a lot of different sources reporting on this, but I'm going to share with you a recent article just in from WION, an article titled, Body Cam Captures UFO Falling from Sky Minutes Later, Family Complains About Aliens in the Backyard. Let me read some of this to you folks. In video footage captured by the body cam of a Las Vegas police officer, a bright light was captured passing through the sky minutes before a resident called and reported spotting aliens in the backyard of his house. A Las Vegas Metro police officer received a call from a citizen on April 30th at around 11.50 p.m. in Las Vegas, Nevada, before he briefly saw a bright light streak across the night sky, according to a report published by Newsweek. According to the police official, the unidentified flying object shined brightly and moved through the sky. The occurrence of this unexplained phenomenon led the police to launch an investigation. In an hour, the police received a call from a man who claimed that something had fallen from the sky and said that he can see two figures walking in his Northwest Valley backyard, according to the report. In the call, the individual claimed the figures to be aliens and stated that they were 8 feet and 10 feet tall. 8 feet and 10 feet tall. He also claimed that they possessed big shiny eyes and large mouths. There is like an 8 foot person beside it and another one is inside and it has big eyes and is looking at us and it's still there, the caller said to a dispatcher. The dispatcher then questioned the man where exactly these figures were present on his property and tried to get more information. In my backyard, I swear to God this is not a joke. This is actually real. We are terrified, said the caller. They're very large. They're like 8 feet, 9 feet, 10 feet. They look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes, like I can't explain it, and big mouth. They're shiny eyes, and they're not human. They're 100% not human, he added. So this appeared on many different news sources. So a lot of people are seeing this, folks, and they're looking at it. And uh, I want to make something very clear again. People are seeing something, but it's not aliens. Like you see on the screen here, no, I'm not an alien from outer space. I am a demonic fallen angel. I am not extraterrestrial. I am interdimensional. No, I don't come in peace. I come in the name of Satan. And my purpose is to deceive, harm, and to destroy you. It's almost like we're seeing stories like this every day now, folks. This one was very wild. So I had to share it with you. When I saw that, um, you know, these people in Las Vegas said that a UFO landed in their backyard and there was aliens walking around, you know, eight feet, nine, nine feet, 10 feet tall. They had huge eyes and a big mouth. Um, I was like, wow, this is pretty nuts what they're sharing. And, you know, a lot of people are reading it. They're talking about it. Um, people are obsessed with this stuff, folks. Now, in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, again, I just did a video on this topic a couple days ago. That's how insane these stories are uh, and how they're coming out almost every single day. But in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, the Apostle Paul, after the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ and after the restrainer is taken out of the way, when you go down to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11, it talks about God sending them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. 
Now, part of this lie, make no mistake about it, after the rapture, the world leaders and the governments, they're going to have to come out with a lie to try to explain away the rapture. And it's going to include something involving aliens or UFOs or something along those lines. Again, that is why we continue to see our movies, our television shows, our entertainment industry filled with aliens, UFO abductions, the supernatural. People are obsessed with this stuff. We continue to see UFO sightings and alien abduction reports skyrocketing all over the world. We continue to see militaries around the world coming out at this particular time, releasing declassified footage of UFO encounters, because this is all part of the plan again of conditioning people to believe the lie that is coming after the rapture of the church. It's happening, folks. And make no mistake about it, in the days, weeks, and months ahead, Lord willing, unless Jesus comes first for watching every day on this channel, you're going to continue to see stories like this happening on an almost daily basis. All I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God, and our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down, he would be born of a virgin, he became flesh, he dwelt among us, and he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell is a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.